unit is where a baby comes. So it's either born too early, so a premature baby is any baby born less than 37 weeks gestation, or a baby that is born at term but has some sort of difficulty, maybe in breathing or an infection. The baby needs a little bit more extra care than the baby would in a normal uh, newborn nursery. If your baby is quite prem, don't be alarmed. The baby might not cry quite well at birth. First thing we're going to make sure is, is your baby breathing um, effectively, so it may need an assisted ventilation, it may need CPAP where we're going to put a whole lot of contraption on the head to hold a little mask on the nose just to give it to air to breathe against or it may need a more formal type of ventilation where it's going to get a little tube in the nose which is going to help it to breathe. Then the next thing we need to make sure is that the baby's getting enough glucose and sugar and fluids so they will get a drip. Sometimes they get a drip in the belly button. It looks quite scary the first time but it's a wonderful access to put it in. Or they may get a little drip just like mommy's got in her arms, in their hand, sometimes their foot um, and that will give them all the fluid. You'll see that the nurses will then monitor them by the various types of monitors. They may get leads on their chests. There's a very clever machine called a SAT machine which we just wind a little thing around their foot and it tells us what their oxygen levels are. We're going to encourage mom to start breastfeeding. If the baby's too small and can't feed, um, they will go through a nasogastric tube which is a little tube that runs in the nose, tips in the tummy and it just runs in on gravity and your milk remains gold at that point in time. This is one type of incubator. This is what we know is called a closed incubator. So this heats up to a certain temperature that we can set. It can go to 35 degrees, which is much warmer than the ambient temperature. And this keeps the baby warm. It also gives us easy access that we can leave the baby undressed so we can see what, how the breathing is going, what their color looks like. By them not having to maintain their temperature, the incubator maintains it, they're able to grow. We're going to encourage you to kangaroo care where we stick the baby skin to skin on your chest, dad can do it as well. Mom will really encourage for the milk, for the, the full milk, the colostrum. Later on, she's gonna express, we're gonna help you with breastfeeding. And all that need, they need to do is to be able to feed well, be gaining weight, and not need any extra warmth from an incubator or anything like that to go home, and then they're ready to go home.